trinket. Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the podcast where we talk about every single item, every single enemy, every single everything in the Binding of Isaac. I'm William Hughes, and I'm joined, as always, by a guy who's uh, like a tiny, tiny little ball of magma, Gary Butterfield. It's me. Well, only when I'm underground. Mmm. Uh, that's a Ben Fold song. Only Gary, when how I'm many Ben Fold songs can you name? Oh, boy. Uh, Rock in the Suburbs. Yep. Just like Quiet Riot did. Just like Quiet Riot did. Uh, then we got uh, You Don't Know Me. Uh, Don't know that his, one. His follow-up album. Collaboration okay. with The Bird and the Bee, a band that I think is bad. Okay. Uh, I was real into a bunch of like the, the, the Ben Fold's like, B-side stuff from that era, but I don't think I know that one. It was like the, I think it's the album after Rock in the Suburbs. Okay, yeah. Is it Songs uh, for Silverman? I think it might be the lingo, the the lead single from Songs for Silverman. Silverman. Ah, Silverman. It is, yeah. I mean, they couldn't the call him the Silver Surfer, up the right? waves. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. he does that sometimes, right? How much uh, How much Silver Surfer content has been on Days of Future Cast? Uh, zero. I don't think we ever seen Silver Surfer on there. I I think oh. I only read like one or two comics with Silver Surfer in it. Oh, my cat is yelling in the background. Uh, Silver Surfer! Silver Surfer! Oh, my God! His oh my real God. name is like Norstein Nor- Beckler or whatever. He's Norrin Rad. Norrin Rad, that's it. Is his name. Yeah. Uh, Which, when I was a kid, Roarin' Nads. That's hey! Kind of, that's we, we did got a that. bad case of Roarin' Nads. Ah! The Roarin' Nad shield found deep in Dreng Lake. How's the Nads feeling today, Gary? Good, dude. Uh, yeah? Even though I have been sitting a lot uh, on a couch. Uh-huh. And they do kind of adhere to my thighs like silly putty in a horrible way. Okay, like I have interesting. to untangle them a lot. Huh. I don't – I'm trying to figure out which one of us is the freak here because I don't have that. Where do your balls sit when you're sitting down, Will? Uh, they sh- uh, suck up into my body and wait for uh, the next breeding cycle. Well, then that's that's the difference. Right <laughs> yeah. There. And no know? one's the freak. Yeah. <laughs> We're all normal. All balls are normal. All um, – Balls and normal. Who's who are, who are these characters, Gary? I don't know. They're sitting outside the general store, however. Oh, okay, it went southern. It could have gone anywhere. It was like Oh was... balls are normal. Oh, then from like... New England, one or the other. Yeah, it was like tapioca, just waiting to pick up the other flavors in the fridge. Yeah. Yeah. Gary, uh, we're gonna go quick this week. Yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure. Uh, uh, we're talking we're about little a... larva. Little larva. Gary, uh, new thesis. Afterbirth okay. is where Edmund figured out what trinkets are supposed to do. Ooh, that is a good that is a good thesis. Yeah, it is so much more exciting and good than like one out of every ten of your shots gets piercing. Yeah, like, like last week's were really solid, and this week's are super solid. We have one of the best trinkets in the game coming up. I I think we're talking about the same one, and that is my favorite trinket. Yeah. Uh, so. so little larva is a little less exciting, but it's. Very good good and additive. Uh, When you have this, any poop you break spawns a blue fly. That's great. There's a lot of poop in the game, uh, Mm -hmm. and blue flies are always good to have around. Uh, Yeah, you don't have to shoot stuff when you have them. Like, poops kind of disappear or kind of fall off eventually. True. But early on, this will be really huge. You know, you're in the the beginning of the game. You want this DPS boost. There's lots of poops. You know, this is a great first trinket pickup. Yeah. Reminder, you can drop trinkets whenever you like, except for the tick. Except for the tick, uh, yeah. Hello. This is, this is, oh, oh, hey, t- hey the tick. No, it's just P- it's Peter. Hello. Oh, hello, hello, uh, Peter Serafanovitz. Uh, it's That's me, me, Patrick Warburton. Oh, you don't you don't sound like you. This is my actual voice. I just put on an acting voice. Oh, that's exciting. I I want to say that I I loved I loved that promo for Seinfeld you did where you were a Lego man. Oh sure, you know that was all done with practical effects and not CG. I do know that, yes. Uh, yeah. I'm a bit of a filmmaker myself. Sure. I remember you from the Hot Chip I Feel Better video. Yes. And uh, also, I I did all my cutscenes in Dark Souls 2. Oh, as, uh, as Pate. Pate. Yeah. Well, my boss is here. <laughs> Before either of us had to remember anything else about Pate? Well, I, I mean, I think that the the body I'm inhabiting right now played Dark Souls 2 very recently. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, you, you inhabit different bodies like uh, like the Shadow King? Just like Amal Farouk, the Shadow King. <laughs> yeah. I always thought that about you. Whereas me, Plus I'm more of a Magneto. Hereby. Oh, okay. I'm going to hang out here, though, as Magneto is the Who? body I'm inhabiting as uh, Patrick Warburton. Who? Not Magneto. 
Magnus Luncher. Oh. Or Eric Luncher, a.k.a. Magnus. How does he keep the same last name when he goes by Magnus? I mean, it's a fake last name. Yeah, it is fake. Uh, there was a, there was a, a, you know, I review Archer for the the, the site, and uh, they referenced his like most recent name for some reason, it was, like Max Earnhardt or something. It was weird, is how they made a they dropped a Magneto joke. That's real weird. Yeah. So yeah. So this is good. Like you, sh- yeah. This is we don't have a lot to say about this one. Like we've talked about Blue Flies a lot. They're good. Yeah. It's not complicated. I yeah, also like how just how additive, but not overpowering. Yep. Really great. Uh, seeing a larva in real life is really unfortunate. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, or is it a beautiful uh, moment of transition, Gary? Mm-mm. No, you found gross. the thing in between the things. It's liminal. I find it gross. Gary, why mm-hmm. don't you like my liminal spaces Twitter account where I just show liminal spaces? <laughs> well, Toilets guy with liminal energy. You're the guy who's retweeting that into my timeline yeah. all the time where I'm like, what the fuck does this mean? <laughs> like, it's just a parking lot. <laughs> like, Gary, oh, this bench has huge liminal energy. Huge liminal energy. Gary, real fast, uh, we we got to get the, the social media profile of the show up a little sure. more. Let's come up with uh, – Maybe three or four real quick, because we're trying to go fast this week, uh, toilet gimmick accounts for Twitter. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say toilets with no holes. Okay. That would be scary. That, that would be scary. Uh, toilets that look like famous people. Okay. I'm going to say toilets that have other liquids other than water in them. So Gary, like a Pepsi I, toilet. Fuck, that's good. Gary, all right, you found it. Like, yeah. we weren't, like, you know, sometimes you're brainstorming and sometimes the lightning hit. We can make that happen right now with our respective toilets and our respective convenience stores. I got, yeah. <laughs> our <laughs> respective plaid pantries. Yeah. Gary, you recently told me about a plaid pantry experience, by the way. That, oh, yeah. Have you, have you spent that one on a show yet? Mm-mm. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, there, there's two of them. There's, there's a, but I'll do one of them now and I'll spread the next one out for tomorrow. To be episode. clear, uh, plaid pantry is a Northwestern chain of uh, convenience stores, not gas stations. Not gas stations. And there's nothing plaid about them. Do not get it uh, twisted. They're, they sell crap for very cheap. Yes. It, the, the gimmick is things are basically free because they trowel for manufacturer's coupons. So everything's real cheap if you don't care what you get. Um, <laughs> yeah, as long as, like, I, I guess I'll try, um, what is that, a pickle chipotle chip? All right. Yeah, I just need a sweet treat. I don't give a shit. Uh, but there's two two new plaid pantries because me and Will have a plaid pantry history, mm-hmm. as people listeners of the show know. Uh, the one by my house, uh, which I stopped going to because there's a guy who wears a suit jacket who, when he asks me how, uh, how my day's going or what I'm up to, he phrases it as, Hey, uh, what are you doing later? Wow. Which is it's really so good. incredibly fucking weird. <laughs> hey, <laughs> like, so, uh, where are you going to be in an hour? Yeah. <laughs> so where do you sleep? Hey. Yeah. Uh, what's your zip code? He, yeah. Uh, it's, I don't want to hang out with him. I'm sure he's nice. If he listens, I'm sorry. Yeah, what nice. if he's a fan trying to like? Re- what if he's specifically? What if he's your one only? What if he's guppy Brover fan? Down? What if it's Bro- <laughs> what if Brover Down has emigrated from Australia? I, I think that's taking Guppy fandom too far, and I'm uncomfortable. Is what I, is the real what if? <laughs> yeah, that. don't change countries for Guppy. Yeah, um, don't, I don't don't change my clothes change for streets guppy. for me. Yeah, like I yeah I don't I don't change anything. Send me uh, money. I, I, we'll talk about other adventures that we had in the future episodes this week. Oh, Gary, I'm so excited for the future. For the first time in a long time, I'm excited That's great. for the That's future. That's great to hear. Boy, my cat's too, being loud. I'm ha- I'm excited for that. Which which one is it? That, I th- I think from the tenor, that sounds like it's probably Kermy, who is sad that Olivia is off, you know, teaching children. Yeah. Kermy, I was the child. <laughs> yeah. um, if you like the show, go to patreon.com slash duckfeedtv. Yeah. Give us money. That we can yeah, spend at Pie uh, Pantry on sugar. up that Patreon. Yeah. Give us, the, instead of calling it the guppy bump, call it the Pringles bump because, well, no, Pringles uh, on strike. Don't cross picket lines. Yeah. But but once that's over, we can use your bump to buy a Pringle. Yeah. Uh, uh, or I'll, I'll, you know, I'll probably just buy some Haribos. Buy, oh, Haribos? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Haribo bump. The Haribo bump. Uh, also, uh, ratings reviews. Yeah. And keep in mind that some of the episodes are better than this one. Uh, so, yes. Yeah. We're getting even it out. Us. Well, we're new to this. Uh, five star review from Will's mother. Uh, this was left on uh, Apple Podcasts. Not a backdoor waft suggestion, which is always a good uh, start. <laughs> it sounds like Will's mom. 
Gary, you should play Eastward. If not for the good of the listeners, do it for yourself. 2D Zelda plus Earthbound. And for all the straw men complaining about me using a review form like a hyper-exclusive one-way Twitter, I've been listening to an experimental improv show masquerading as a video game podcast for two years. (laughs) Thanks, guys. That's pretty fair. That was exactly what I was going to say, and they cut me off in one, so... I mean, I, my, my policy is simple. Anything that is not actually illegal or threatening, you can say to us, and we yeah. will read it as if long it's as a five-star five star. review. Yeah. yeah. Uh, good night. <laughs> Boy, buddy. Yep. What happened there? I was looking up Eastward. <laughs> okay. I got distracted. I was trying to think of something to say about it, and I, I couldn't. Good night. Good night. Bad episode. Try the next one. We we did our best. You know? <laughs> no, I was saying that for the listeners' benefit. I know, I know. I'm saying it for listeners as well. I want them to judge us a little bit more kindly. <laughs> okay. It's our first day. It's our first day. We recorded this th- when we started the podcast, and we are releasing it now. Yeah. <laughs> well, God, I can't. I can't wait for future. I can't wait for the Joe Biden presidency. I can't wait to feel better than I do now. <laughs>